In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can convert between scientific notation and standard notation, or standard notation to scientific notation. Standard notation is a number like 14,200, a number like you would use anywhere on the street to talk about a large number. However, quite often it's more convenient to use scientific notation to represent a large number. What scientific notation does is it places the decimal after the first significant digit and then multiplies or divides by 10 a certain number of times to show how much that decimal has moved. We show multiplication by 10 with a positive exponent and division by 10 with a negative exponent because a negative exponent simply moves the 10 to the denominator and we're dividing by that 10. So in this 14,200, we put the decimal after the first significant digit. It needs to go after the 1, giving us 1.42. Then we do times 10, and every multiplication by 10 moves the decimal over once. 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Because we were dealing with a big number, we need a positive exponent to show that multiplying by 10 to the 4th will make this 1.42 into a big number. Similarly, with the 0 0.0042, we put the decimal after the first significant digit of 4, giving us 4.2 times 10. However, because this is a small number, we actually want to divide by 10 1, 2, 3 times. To make it dividing by 10, we use a negative exponent, representing a small value of 0 0.0042. Similarly, we can convert the other direction, starting with a number in scientific notation, by using the exponent, telling us how many times we divide or multiply by 10. A positive exponent means we should end up with a big number, because we're multiplying by 10 five times. Each time we multiply by 10, it moves the decimal once, twice, three, four, five times. For those extra humps, we'll just slip in some zeros, and we get 3, 2, 1, with three zeros after it. This is 321,000. Similarly, with 7.4 times 10 to the negative 3, the negative 3 tells us that we're dividing by 10 three times. When we divide by 10 three times, the decimal has to move to the left, making the number smaller. 1, 2, 3 times. Putting zeros for those extra spaces, we end up with 0 0.0074 for our standard notation equivalent. Scientific notation will either, I forgot to box my answers here, scientific notation will put the decimal point after the first significant digit, and then tells us how many times we multiply or divide by 10 in the conversion. Using a positive exponent means the standard number is large, because we've multiplied by 10, making it bigger. Using a negative exponent means the standard notation number is small, meaning we had to divide by 10, making the number smaller.